Welcome again to another episode of the WSXM podcast. As always, a United Africa is an undisputed African. That's a fact. Africa is currently reunited and it's going to be undefeated. It's going to be unstoppable as time goes on. We're going to see in our lifetime where all the African countries unite under one banner. So anyway, <clears throat> in this speech, it is the, what this speech? Recently, the EU gave Ghana 105 vehicles. But before I watch, listen to what the president said, these vehicles, look back story, was not bought with EU money. These vehicles were seized in, in, um, in international waters on their way to Libya. These vehicles were destined for Libya. I have 105 of them, but they were seized by the, the European Union um, task force that um, manned the seas. And, but they have yet to say, and they're trying to cover it or hide, where these vehicles are coming from. It surprised me they did not say where, but from what I know, it's one of two places these vehicles can come from. One, Russia to China because they're armored vehicles. And but now they 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 seize it and now they redistribute it to Ghana. But listen to what the president of Ghana said on the weekend. It is imperative to understand that no single country can confront the terrorist threat on its own. Collaborative efforts amongst nations facing this challenge and critical support from partners such as the European Union, who share our security concerns, remain crucial in mitigating the terrorist threat in the West African region. The delivery will later include aerial surveillance equipment and electronic warfare systems. According to the EU, the aid is part of a 616 million euros package to strengthen defense and security. So the president is happy to receive this vehicle, which I'm not going to... Um, Get on this case about this because it's to get 100, 105 armored vehicles plus surveillance, surveillance vehicles and surveillance equipment is no easy feat. But here's where I, my two cents come in. Where does, are now where? What does Ghana have to give in return to receive these 105 vehicles? Because he don't do nothing for free. And why is it all of a sudden? This, um, the Sahel is overrun with terrorism, with terrorist groups. Why all of a sudden? Ever since Burkina Faso and Niger and the coups kicked out the French and the Americans, all of a sudden there's this wide conception. Or, and for me, it's misinformation that these countries are overrun with, um, with terrorism. And don't forget, it's been um, documented that some of these groups are funded by the Europeans and the, and, um, and the Americans. Some of these groups are funded by them. It's documented. But I don't want to get too deep into that. But let's get back to this. So they fund these groups. Then they, in turn, come as a savior. Say, oh, we are coming to battle. And that's I think that's what it, that, that, for me, that is their end goal. Fund these groups to attack African countries. Then they come in as the, uh, on the White House as a savior and say, Okay, we're going to give you these vehicles, we're going to give you money, we're going to set up bases in the country so we can battle these insurgents. But yet, these insurgents, every time a base is put up by the Americans or by the Europeans, it's always get worse when it comes down to insurgents attacking these countries. But since Burkina Faso kicked out the French, I haven't heard of any or seen of any as that's been reported that been taking place as how they were making it seem as if. So are they doing this because they want to get a foothold in Ghana, a stronger foothold in Ghana by putting their bases there? Or they are doing this to use to get certain favors in return from the Ghanaian government. Because that's what they are known for. They are not doing nothing without the good goodness of their heart. So here's some of the vehicles that um they receive. As you can see in the picture, that's an armored truck with um a, it seemed like a fifty car, plus all these other vehicles that see there. Um, different sizes and different for different purposes. So, so one to say too, this is not a free. This is not their money because again, it's seized vehicles that's destined for that was bonded, destined for Libya. They seize it, now they return it to Ghana. So, I say not to say this. Don't make these. I don't, don't listen to these naysayers or these. Propaganda machines like the news saying, oh, over Africa is overrun with 
insurgents or terrorist groups. That's not, that's not the case. It's only the case when they want to put a base or to have favors. That's when they come in with this ridiculous theory. Or they also fund... They, well, they, we all know they fund coups as well. But not these current coups, but these current coups is done by... Um, Righteous coups are right. They are in. Um, they are in need of these coups, but they in the past in um uh, helped to assassinate African presidents, helped to instigate coups and to instigate civil disobedience, like what's going on currently in in um in Sudan and in Somali. They are behind it. Some of these things they are behind them, and it's I'm not. It's just not. It's not me just saying this. It's been documented all over the. All, all over YouTube, all over the world, they can go. There's documents stating where the French have, like for instance, when the French destabilized Libya along with the Americans, when they said um, Gaddafi was a, a, a war um, criminal, and just because man has 140 ton of gold, and that caught the eye of the, of the French president, I forget his name, it's Sarkozy, and then with the help of the Americans, they destabilized Libya. They destabilized Burkina Faso back in the early late 80s as well it's been countless um places where we have seen this taking place so don't be fooled by the eu coming in and bringing these 105 weeks as if it's um a gift no it's not it's string attached and i hope um president um nana akofa be very wary of what the europeans are doing and i find he's causing up especially to the americans too because he actually he recently did a I sit down with with um with the with the um Secretary of State, Link um Blinken, and he basically showed a con African country under the bus and said that um he's gonna work with the um with the Americans. Thanks for their help to um to stem overflow of of incident into their country and blah 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 blah. And which was very disappointing to me because if you want help, go to other African countries. Like we want to have a brilliant army. You have South Africa, you have um, Egypt, even Egypt have a big, even though Egypt don't see themselves as African, but they're still African, so they can say whatever they want. But they have a huge army as well. Turkey, um, if other African countries get the help of African countries to fight these insurgents, because Africans tend to look out for Africans because we are one, but Europeans come to instigate, put countries against each other. And also reap the resources and take it back to the country. And because this is being banned and stopped, all of a sudden now they are trying to run around all over Africa, trying to do, trying to uh, make um, MOUs, memorandum, memorandum of opportunity. They are signing these left, right, and center because they want, they still want a piece of Africa at all costs. So you see them running around Africa now, but African presidents have become more serious, they become more knowledgeable, they become more. Aware, aware of these European Union signing bad deals, or bad fit deals. So now, because it's getting more difficult now, they are trying their best to put their best foot forward to sign deals on the continent. But the continent is rising, as I have said. They are banning export of resources. Ghana done it, have done it. Zimbabwe, Uganda, Burkina Faso, Niger. Especially Niger. And it's just reported that Niger is one of the fastest growing economy in the African continent right now. Sorry. Why? Remember? Um the French French the French was paying um Niger eighty cents per kilo for uranium. See? That's robbery on some of the levels. And in turn sell it for two hundred um two hundred euro per kilo. But now since Burkina Faso kicked them out and stopped, Burkina Faso in turn started to price it at two hundred kilo. Two hundred euro per kilo. So now that's one of the reasons why they are one of the rising fast then economy going right now because they, they are getting fair price for their resources currently. And then Burkina Faso is like is at, at, at um six or somewhere there. So they are also rising because again they are taking control of the resources. So anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comment section if you agree with my assessment or what I'm saying. If not, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Thanks for watching, you don't know. Boom.